Hey YouTubers, KB here with a quick review of Slayin'. This is a very simple title, a very simple game, it's a retro style game, as you can see with the pixels and the particular music of the more early 90s kind of uh, feel to this game. Um, basically, the title explains everything you need to know about this game. All you do is slaying. You're slaying anything that comes in your sight. Um, this game is only 99 cents on the App Store currently, and uh, you select these characters. Uh, you have to unlock majority, every single one of them besides the, the very night, the very first one of the night. Um, uh, in later gameplay, I'll show you I unlock the, the Tamer, which he's uh, able to ride the different uh, creatures and monsters that you can go into, and then I'm also going to unlock the Wizard, which both of these classes play significantly differently. My best uh, luck and my highest score came from the night, basically, just having strictly melee combat. And here's a simple how to play the night. If anyone hits you from behind or in your body, and it's not in front of your lance or your sword, that it'll be damaged towards you. Um, basically, as you can also see, this really cool retro controller, all I do is left, right, and then the, the button, big button, will jump for me. Um, and I'm just jabbing my, uh, my thing right into everything. Base. I'm leveling up fairly fast, and I remember one of the uh, quests uh, was to get three levels up, or level up three times without jumping, so I just accomplished that achievement. Um, and being mindful of all the little different pickups, I'm trying to get coins, leveling up, uh, getting the slaying bonus up top, um, being able to get more coins, and uh, as you see this little guy drop down, I can upgrade my weapons, my armor, my loot pickup, I'm gonna always try to upgrade my, uh, my health because it goes down a lot. Especially when later levels, seeing all the, the crazy amount of enemies running at you. I'm gonna do a little quick fast forward real fast and I'm gonna jump to the very first boss, which is a ginormous Minotaur. He just rams at you and you just have to jump over him and then stab him with your dagger in the back. Um, the game also offers really cool customization on having uh, your custom gravestone with your name on it and your high score and what you accomplish with your quest and everything. The game is very customizable in that sense with a really cool retro feel to it with a couple pixelated uh, animations and everything. Um, again, this is a very basic game and it's not the world's greatest graphics like other games that are coming out in this game and age, but this is staying true to its nature. Basically, just want to jump over this Minotaur and just wait for him and just constantly just hit him right in the, right in the butt. And I slayed him. Look at that. Boom. Get leveled up. Now I want to get my chest, get some gold, get some monies, uh, get some health. upgrade anything, so I'm just gonna jump into the next level. Um, in each level you can see it has a different like, background and a tune to it, um, and the more enemies will be running at you as you see um, the crazy amount of like the walls just crashing in there, uh, more flying enemies, uh, more craziness going on on the screen, I'm trying to keep track of everything running around. Um, these gravestones shoot gold at you, um, and they get really uh, big pain in my you know what, I'm uh, trying to get over there and kill them and cap them out. Trying to get the coins. I prefer the night by far. Uh, you'll see some of the later games on playing uh, the tamer, which basically, again, allows you to tame your enemies and be able to ride them and use their abilities against them. Um, and then the wizard, which is, I feel kind of flawed because you're not unable to jump. So for the first couple levels before you can upgrade anything, you have to use our tornado whirlwind thing. And uh, you'll see it in the later gameplay. By far the night is one of the uh, beginners, I guess, uh, starting out to get this. And then with other things in the tavern, you're able to unlock a new game face to upgrade your controller, the look of it. Um, the upgrade, the various uh, characters, um, basically just more aesthetic looks with some of the, the coins that you get and the money within the in game. But also looking at different characters, having a total of six characters and always incorporating new characters. I believe there was a ninja that I saw that was like 18,000 points. 
which is really a lot, because this from this run I have, uh, like, I think 900 something, so I have to do that it's quite a few runs to be able to get that individual character. And that was pretty easy to just. Uh, basically, if he was up above the ground, he was gonna shoot the, uh, the fireball that bounces, and then if he was on the lower part of the ground, it would just go directly across. So I'm gonna try to get some health. This is where the difficulty ramps up tremendously. Um, I'm running around trying to figure out how to best to uh, attack all these enemies. Someone just got me. He's bouncing up and down trying to get the different balls coming from that. There's just a crazy amount of enemies being thrown at you and just trying to uh, slay them all is pretty epic. It's gonna be swift. Um, my health is going down extremely fast. As you can see. upgraded my armor sooner. I'm trying to jump over the skulls. Those are big pain. I'm about to die. There we go. Boo. I'm gonna jump to some of the other gameplay of the other characters with the wizard gamer. Okay, this is the cavern where you can upgrade your gravestone in a cosmetic different different music, your gamepad color, and things like that. Not really a much need. This is the where you can upgrade your characters. You see the ninja, 18,000, the tamer, you have an archer, you have all different kind of characters. The dragon icon is actually a different mode. Basically, you just have to defeat all the bosses as fast as you can. Um, as you see, I just bought the wizard, so I'm going to jump into the gameplay of the wizard. Um, his attack does a lot of things, uh, but his luck and his defense is not as high as the knight of his. So basically, when I turn into the tornado, I am for that second, um, but again, I cannot jump, so here we go, okay. I'm just trying to tap away, I'm, I'm constantly getting hit when I come out of the room, there's enemies around me, so I'm constantly trying to jam that button so I can get the first couple of levels so I can unlock uh, some of the uh, other abilities, but again, I don't have a lot of coins at this point in time, and my health is going out a lot faster. I wouldn't recommend this character right off the bat due to the ramped up difficulty, for example, I'm not unable to kill the flying skull above me due to the fact that I can't jump. So I have to wait for that individual, that enemy, to come down to my level, and so that I can uh, use my tornado effect to kill that uh, that monster. And can you imagine the when the grave pops up that you're unable to jump um, across to get to that uh, grave zone? You're unable to basically dodge the uh, the skull. So this is a much more difficult uh, individual. See this? I don't have enough points. The flame ball. I got that. Okay. But I'm able to get the uh, dancing fire around me. Basically, like, creates a little force field around me. So I'm just gonna try to get some health, and I don't have any. So I'm basically dead at this point. So I have zero health, and I'm just gonna jump back in the game. And I want to get by one thing. Now jumping to the tamer, uh, basically I just jump on items and I use them as their ability. Um, this sometimes comes a problem due to the fact that there's so many enemies on the screen. You try to jump on that one particular enemy, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, and you have to wait for the game to say to jump on that item. See, so yeah, I can't. I have to jump on that particular one, not the one of my choosing. So I'm trying to there. We go. See, I finally got it going. Now I'm gonna go on a little killing spree here with this individual. See, there we go. I gotta wait for the jump icon to pop up for me uh, to be uh, allowed to, in a sense, to use that individual thing. So this, this again, this is much a much more difficult character. I'm trying to jump on this shell, but it's unable to. See, again, this is much more difficult for to play this individual character. If you're first starting off, please use the knight. Um, it's the most uh, logical sense of using it, uh, you know, by far the easiest, and being able to level up and get all that, those coins and monies. Again, thank you for uh, watching and the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, leave your comments down below. Love to hear from you, and uh, catch everyone on the flip side. This is KB. Have a wonderful day, and peace!